Horizon Hobby just released a new ready-to-fly airplane under a hundred dollars and because of that fact someone is in big trouble. This is the new P-51 and as I said it is ready to fly. That means it comes with the transmitter, battery, charger, airplane, everything needed to get in the air. And this, if you're unfamiliar, is very similar to the Esheen Warbirds. However, I can tell you it is a little bit bigger and I really should get one and compare side by side, but I can tell that that is just a tiny bit bigger. They're actually using a standard micro servo for the aileron control surfaces and real servos for the rudder and elevator control surfaces. This is not just a bank and yank. It also has flight stabilization, just like the Ishin Warbirds. The reason I'm telling you someone's in trouble is because if this is good, we now have an American brand cheap ready to fly bird that doesn't get shipped overseas with crushed boxes from DHL when they arrive. Better customer service. The list goes on. None of this matters if it doesn't fly well. So we're going to fly this and see how it does. But before we do, what were you thinking, Horizon? Uh-oh, nasty names back. You included two batteries with this airplane. It's already under $100. You could have made more money by only including one. Or you could have saved us money. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> nasty Abby. <laughs> and no, this is not a trick of YouTube deception. They give you a spare prop with this airplane. Since when do we get free props in the box? And could have been even cheaper. Horizon could have made more money. What were you thinking? And last but not least, they did include landing gear and a screwdriver. So I think I'm gonna do a hand toss though. We might try that in a later video. The battery type is just a 1S Molex connector. So that's good news. A lot of people are gonna to wanna to know, is it a new IC1 proprietary battery? No, it's Molex, so that's good. You got jokes, Nate. Careful, you're gonna nick your prop, crazy yeah. butt. What were you thinking? Throttle up, throttle down the bind. Okay, we're good. I saw it hit the concrete. I saw that mistake you almost made. Let's I go. saw it, Let's I go. saw it. That was pretty powerful, actually. You think? Yeah, it did. It, it was about three quarter throttle and it was pulling out of my hand really well. This is about three quarter throttle, just cruising through the air. That's with stabilization one. It is climbing some, but that's okay. I can throttle down and we can trim it up too. So it's a full function radio. It has trim. It, this looks and feels, and it's impossible to not talk about the Esheen Warbirds. We're going to push it down some because it just wants to climb. This is a direct competition to that. They want people to walk into a hobby shop with a hundred bucks in their pocket and buy this. Now I'm going to tell you, Use our link and buy it, right? The hobby shop's not gonna let you go out there and demo it or show it for you. So at least support us. And yeah, that's a that's a leading statement to it's flying good. It flies just as good as the Esheen P51. And that's a good standardization because that is the standardization. That is where the bar is at. We featured a little P51, actually medium size P51 recently on the channel that was brushless and it came in under 100 bucks too, but that was only through coupon codes and sales and now it's back up to nearly $200. That's because I was low throttle there, by the way. <laughs> I love the way this looks. So are you flying in safe? Does this, this is, have safe? This is in safe, yeah. Okay. It's stabilized mode. I'm not sure if they call it safe. It's not labeled as safe, but it is safe. It's not letting the plane tip upside down, twist, or flip. Oh, that's not a Spectrum transmitter. No, it's not. This is a hobby zone. Uh, I got distracted, right? but... Hobby zone. There hmm. you go. Hobby zone. I see that. Then we have uh, an aerobatics button, just like the newer Esheen birds. And then we've got stabilization. Let's go to intermediate mode and see how she flies. Keeping in mind all of the... Okay, so intermediate mode, the middle switch feels fine. In fact, it feels no different at all than the beginner mode. There's beginner. 
there's the intermediate. I think we have a slightly, slightly more aggressive bank angle. So let's turn it completely off and rolling it. And then we, hey, so this is okay. It's better than the Ishin birds and that's really good. You can't even fly the Ishin they're birds pretty, out of flight stabilization. They're pretty much unflyable, yes. So this has one leg up on the Ishin birds being that I can do this manually. This is all manual mode. Let's see if we can do a loop. We're going to go full throttle. Haven't been full throttle yet. Looping it. Oh, I'm Looping it. terrible. Looping it. Not even full throttle. Oh yeah, that's cool. I, you're okay. so tiny. It is. It's very small. So that's the thing. It's a small plane, but you can fly it in small space. You got to calm down for a second, Nate. Okay, back on. Just stabilize. Do you want to loop mode. and let me actually film it now? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to hand it to him. This is performing a little better than the Ishin birds. You ready? Because I can do this. Here we go. Loop and back in stabilized mode. So it does fly nice and smooth in stabilized mode. Um, just like the Ishin birds, all of them fly really well. But it's really cool to see Horizon finally keeping up with and or competing with them. However you want to view that. Um, you know, Banggood is kind of like where it's at to get these small birds. But now the fact that you can pick it up on the good hobby grade website is a very good thing. And it's also their own branded thing. So they should support it. They should. Banggood, something goes wrong. It can be difficult to get customer support. They do okay. But Horizon should do much better. Okay. Uh, let's hit the aerobatic button so i'm going to climb up because a lot of times these lose altitude when you hit it but remember this is linked in our description box below let's see if it can do it oh yeah nice i pushed the button once and it did a roll i don't know if you guys could see that it didn't lose much altitude so let's try it this way push it pick a direction okay i always struggle with these there we go there it goes you get that abby no okay <laughs> let's go this way do a little lower because it's not losing much altitude push and hold pick a direction oh look at that isn't that nice and there it goes the double roll the ishins do that too sometimes the button gets almost stuck and then it goes in for a double roll let's we'll do it one more time push and hold the button let go of the button pick a direction so what's the likelihood that this is made by the same people oh very likely who knows though there's Just a lot really of well. different companies that make these now i think exo hobby um uh, Banggood has their Ishin line. Doesn't up. Flight Test have something similar too? No, Flight Test had something that's not this. They didn't have Warbirds. Okay. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, flight, no, not Flight Line. Um, who was that company that was giving us a hard time stealing our content for a minute? <laughs> Volantex. Volantex has their line, but it's, in my opinion, it's really cool to see Horizon with theirs and it's performing well. Two batteries, extra prop. It's like, if you've got an account on Horizon and you have points that you like to accrue on a website, if you enjoy the shopping experience there, then by all means do that. You can support our channel by, by buying your small Warbird through our link. And I'm sure if you buy enough of these, they will have more. That's the idea because there's a lot of uh, designs on these out there already. So good job horizon on your little p51 i didn't know what to expect and when i opened it i didn't think you'd have two batteries in there i didn't think you'd have an extra prop in there speaking of the prop this thing pops on and off so that's nice it's a prop saving tool let's see if this will do a loop i know it does the rolls automatically but in flight stabilized mode push it pull back nope it just does rolls at least let's do full throttle and try it again because i feel like there was one that did that full throttle push it pull back oh yeah there you go just got to be full throttle and it'll do a predetermined loop can we push it forward will it do a forward loop let's do it push it push down nope it's going to do a roll or a loop depending on if you push sideways it'll do a roll if you push pull back on the right stick it'll do a loop so pretty cool yeah very cool you know what let's put the landing gear on really fast and see if we can do a uh, ground takeoff with this bird and we're going to land it in the grass over here. Come on, get there. Nice. I also just discovered a hidden 
feature this one does that the Ishin birds don't do, and I will show you at the end of this video. So hang out for a minute, because that's really cool. I will say, this definitely sounds brushed. Oh, it's brushed. It yeah, sounds good call. it. No, it's brushed. It's brushed <laughs> I and know. Geared. It sounds it. But the Ishin birds are too. Yes. And exactly the same system. Uh, as long as you're good on it, it'll be good on you for hundreds of flights. And I mean perfection. When this plane goes down into your tall grass, that throttle needs to be at 0% before the prop hits resistance or you'll burn the motor up. That's the first thing to go generally on these small airplanes because people land in tall grass and they just panic. It's their first flight. It's very natural reaction to to leave the throttle up for two seconds and then go save the plane. I'm not saying it'll burn up guaranteed the first two seconds, but each time you do that, you are killing the life cycle. You are killing your airplane. Killing it. Yeah. There's well, it snap. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's go. That's a good question. Full throttle, out of stabilized mode. Pick up the speed, snap it. No, oh, not really. Not, not at all. all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Back in stabilized mode. Let's see if we can land it on the runway, on the asphalt. Ooh. And I will show you guys the secret feature that all these Ishin Warbirds and other brands don't do, which is actually really cool. Some of you will appreciate it. That wasn't too bad. Little planes are hard to... And no, the tail wheel does not steer. All I just heard was excuses. Uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you something. <laughs> if you start doing that in real life, we're done. No. <laughs> yeah, no backwards hat Nate in real life. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. So who's got a good guess? The secret feature. What secret feature could exist? No, it's not retracts. Man, that'd be awesome. Uh, this plane does something that all the Ishin Warbirds do not, and that is has a hatch that opens on top. That's not where the battery goes. That's where it would be on a normal airplane, a bigger airplane. This gives us access to our servos, our real servos. Some people would argue that these are better servos than what the UMX planes use, just because they're a standard servo and not those micro servos. So, I mean, they are micro, but they're not the UMX micro uh, servos. And if you missed it, the battery does load in the bottom of the airplane, right there, nice and snug, but not too snug. I didn't have to fight it too hard. Be nice if there's just an extra millimeter in there though, so you have more room for your wires. But otherwise, that's an awesome plane. And yeah, Banggood and other companies that make these should be a little worried about the US market at least, because that's where Horizon tends to shine. Uh, and maybe over in European countries too down the road, but I know that these are available and they're shipping in the US. These aren't pre-released. These are available and shipping now. Most of the time when you guys see a new plane on our channel, maybe not most, but a lot of times it's pre-release. We got it early, uh, so you know, we can fly it and show it to you before it's even shipping. That is not the case with this. These are available now. So if you need a good Father's Day present idea, this is a huge home run. The cool factor is way up there. I love that they went with red, white, and blue. I like the looks. I like the price point. That's a really good gift price point, especially for dad. Don't get him a tie. Get him a very cool airplane. And all summer long and around winter time, these are good Christmas gifts and stuff too. So very awesome. We got a link in the description box below. Yes, it competes extremely well with the Ishin Warbirds. If not, maybe even slightly better because of the advanced flight performance. It actually flies in that mode and they threw in the extra batteries and props, so good on them. I wanna say a massive thanks to God for blessing us with a beautiful day of very light winds to fly to Maiden, our P-51. Uh, and I recommend to you guys too, maybe your first and second flight should be in pretty much no wind okay they will <laughs> not focusing there you go <laughs> no wind. they will fly in wind i've done it but it can be harder for a newer pilot and i imagine a lot of newer pilots will be flying this so a massive thanks to god for blessing us with this beautiful warm day also a huge thanks to our patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support if you love small affordable RC planes completely ready to fly. We'll have another very cool hand-picked video popping up right at my mouth. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.